Patrick will ask Karen, then Karen will ask Merle, then Merle will try to ask Rose, then we end up Rose will just simply ask Patrick, que dia es hoy? What day is today? Okay, Patrick, go. Karen, que dia es hoy? Unmute, unmute. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, hoy es um, 22 y, uh, de octubre de 2022. Uh, no, wala ang sabado. Again, oh, say. Sorry. Okay, hoy Patrick, take two. Okay, Patrick, sorry. muna para straight tayo. Okay, Patrick. Oh, I do apologize. Now I realize no one reminded me oh. that I did not share. <laughs> Akala po namin, ano eh. Wala ah, yeah, na, yeah, ano. yeah, I get it, yeah. <laughs> Akala ko rin po. <laughs> no, 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 no. And still, no, we, uh, hindi pa. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're telling me. But now I have to tell you in advance, when we are on our 10th session, mawawala na yung kedia eso. Ah, the, the, the pattern of conversation will still be there, but we will no longer have the script. Can you hear this? Kaya pala nag-welcome ako. Okay. I really want to highlight my welcome le later. I have really put uh, your name, Rosanne, was really on the front. That you're really part of the class. Okay. So welcome again. Okay, Patrick. Que dia es hoy? You start with Karen. Karen, que dia es hoy? Hoy es Sabado, el 22 de octubre de 2022. Gracias, uh, Patrick. Karen, you ask Merli. Um, Merli, ¿qué día es hoy? Sabado, el 22 de octubre de 2022. Gracias. Merli, you ask Rose. Uh, Rose, ¿qué día es hoy? Hoy, <coughs> hoy, uh, hoy es sábado, el 22 de octubre de 2022. Okay, muy bien, gracias. Mamaya, ayusin na na. Eh, I mean, very easy for Spanish because anong basa siyang bikas? Tama ba? A, B, C, D, D, A. It won't be difficult to us because we are uh, speaking Tagalog. Sa abakada, anong basa siyang bikas? It's different from English. But I say some, that's why we need to review our abecedario because some of the letter. Kahit anong basa, I want to highlight the Sabado is Sabado. We review number 20 is 20, but when it's 21, 22, it's 22. So today is 22, 22. Okay, October. For days and months, we don't have problem. We did it within 10 minutes, yung lesson natin last time. Why? Because this is very familiar with us. Just accept the spelling. Enero up to Diciembre y después lunes de domingo son iguales en, en Tagalog, except lingo. We don't say domingo, we say lingo. But the A, B, C, D, F, G, H, which started here with hoy, hoy, hola, we say hello, hola, que día es hoy, is always with a silent H. So we say, ito pa, Na di baka nakalimutan ni Patrick. Favorite mo, di ba, is helado. <laughs> helado is ice cream. But it is spelled as helado. H. Ano pang word? Helado. Oy. Today is not hoy. It's oy. Hola. We say hello. Hola is with H. So we say hola, helado, H. Hola, helado, oy. Walang H. Can I hear it from you? Just say hola, helado. Walang connection na ang word. Hola is hello, helado is ice cream, but it is all started with H, so we don't pronounce the H. I'll start with Merli. Say hola, helado. Hola, helado. Gracias, Karen. Hola, helado. Gracias, Ann. Hola, helado. Muy bien, Patrick. Hola, helado. Okay, perfect. So, just a quick uh, part ng unlearning natin. It's different from English saying happy as in edge. It's always silent edge. Okay. 
this is the exam actually not really the <laughs> parang ganito lang ang exam but it is easier than this because you i will download the google form then you will answer it most of the exam in google form is either multiple choice or you will answer one let one word but this time this is not an exam i will not ask you to read but you choose what number you want to answer actually nalagay ko test two. los sustantivos pueden ser femininos o masculinos so alam natin yung mga nouns mayroon siyang gender if it is a girl if it is a ano feminino masculino doon nagde-depend ang paggamit ng l at saka la so I don't I will not highlight in English para hindi malito ha? you know the article in English is just the the boy the girl the flower everything is still the you don't you have you don't have to determine yung noun if it is feminine masculine but in Spanish it's very important okay the sustantivos here are gato gato mesa calabaza libro computadora based on the picture so we have to determine what is the correct article. Random na? I think we don't have to give more time to this. We can okay, who wants to answer number one? El gato toma leche. Perfect. Okay. El gato toma leche. Because gato is O, it ends in O, it's masculino. The article is El Gato Toma Leche. Gracias, Patrick. Numero dos. Anyone? Karen? La, Karen? Mes la mesa está baja. La mesa está baja. Muy bien. La, because it's mesa. It ends in a, it's feminino. Gracias. Who wants to give a try for number three? Merly? La calabaza es aranjada. Anaranjada. Okay. La calabaza, because calabaza is... A feminine, no? it ends in a, so usamos la. Rosanne, you want number four? Libro. Yo veo el libro en la mesa. Muy bien, perfecto. Yo veo el libro. So el gato, la mesa, la calabaza, el libro. I'll get number five. Computadora. So I will say, la computadora no está trabajando. trabajando. It's not working. Quickly, let's take. Translation now. I'll go back to Patrick. Gato is <laughs> part yeah. ng exam. Okay, perfect. Mesa, Karen is? Las mesas. No, 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 no. Okay. In English, translate natin. Ah, uh, okay. Um, table. Table, <laughs> oh. um, uh, table oh, correct. Merly, okay. calabaza is a? Eh? Squash. Squash or pumpkin, okay. Libro is? Book. Book, okay. Computadora could be a desktop or computer, okay. Why I put this? This is really part of one of the exam before because we know the picture will help us also in the vocabulary. Let's say we assume we do not know what is cat, but the picture could help, okay? Like gato, mesa, calabaza, okay. Perfect. Then let me just continue. We'll do this as an exercise. Any volunteer for number six? Yo me voy a basillo escuela. What's your answer? Number six? Merly? No. Ah, okay. Uh, anyway, sorry. Patrick answered you already. Can you read the whole sentence, Patrick? Yo me voy a la escuela. Muy bien. Numero siete? Merly, you like to answer number seven? Utefones el vestido. Muy bien, gracias. Rosan, you want to answer number eight? Sí. El se comió el queso. Muy bien, el se comió el queso. Karen, número nueve. Ah, y mira la iguana. Verde. Mira la iguana verde. Then ellas montaron la bicicleta juntas. Ok. We know the pictures will say, so we say school, it's dress, mm -hmm. it's cheese, it's iguana or lizard, and it's a bike. That is an article, but if you take note, there is no plural. It is escuela, la escuela, el vestido, el queso, la iguana, la bicicleta. 
can we turn with the schools, escuelas? How will you say it? Can I go back to Patrick? Las escuelas. Muy bien. Karen? Los vestidos. Muy bien. Merly, queso? Quesos? Los quesos. Gracias. Iguanas, Rosan? Las iguanas. Okay. And las bicicletas. So we know that for a while that the articulo will determine what articulo we will use. We have to first see the sustantivo, if it is masculine or feminino, the gender, as well as the number, numero, if it is singular or plural. Okay. This is quickly, this is a kind of review, kasi lalabas din, but in a different way. It's like, write your answer in Spanish two points each, okay? Don't talaga magsulat, but now you will not write, okay? A simple, what is Monday in Spanish, Karen? Um, lunes. Lunes, muy bien. Number two, Rosan, which day comes after viernes? After viernes, what day answer in Spanish? Viernes. Jueves. Um, uh, after. Pagkatapos uh, ng viernes. Sabado. Sabado. Muy bien. Okay. Num numero tres. Patrick, you want? Hoy, if today is miércoles, hoy es miércoles, tomorrow, mañana es? Jueves. Jueves. Muy bien. Numero cuatro, Merly. What comes... Ah, sorry, what month comes before Marso? Febrero. Febrero, then what month comes before Julio is Junio. The exam is very easy, you might thought, but this time I want to highlight the spelling of the days and months. Part of our unlearning, why? I'm sure when you start thinking of webes, the webes in Tagalog is ache, webes, okay. Then the Pebrero in Tagalog, in Filipino, is P, not the F, but it's P, the P. The same, the Junio, you use H, not J. Okay, just take note. Then another one I want to highlight about writing months, it is always in a small letter. We don't write it in a big letter. It's always on a small letter. Nasanayan, in one of our, when we're doing documentation, it was already in the BPO. So we do like, we use Excel. I remember so we use the so parang, it's also a spreadsheet. And then one of us, mali, mali naman to surat, he started writing in big capital. Imagine how many names their data in ISA nag nag filter yung Pebrero pinalitan lahat. Then just after tomorrow naka red mark siya. Sabi namin, "Bakit ano kaya na red mark?" Sabi, "Ano ba 'tong nangyayari?" Then we we were many of us also were not so conscious about that. It was really highlighted as a red mark because of the writing. Man should not be capital capital letter to start. Okay? Always remember especially when you're writing already email just be a bit because this will also impress meaning to say you're very you're you really know the no no in spanish let's go to grammar that was a quick review now for our uh, sorry for our vocabulary we go with this this is still a quick review right the picture will speak for itself when we say the family in spanish it is La familia. If it is the families, las familias. We started looking at the members of the family. Very common to us. Abuelo, abuela, padre, madre, hijo, hija, hijo. Then we continue. Okay, let's do this as a drill now. It is in English. Father, any guess? At random, any guess can answer. Father? Padre. Padre, okay. But you have to substitute to Say it in sing correct. Padre in singular. Ah, uh, grandfather. Sorry, I my question my my question was wrong. I'll give first the example. I usually say father because meaning to say I will set the example. Sorry, Patrick. Grandfather is abuelo, but I have to say el abuelo, los abuelos. Okay, we supply the art correct article. Say it in singular and plural. I'll start with Patrick. Father. El padre. Muy bien. Y when you say it in plural? 
Los Padres. Muy bien, gracias. Ok. San. Merly, you want to start? San is. El hijo. El hijo, muy bien. Y when you have sons. Los hijos. Perfect. Nephew, Karen. Um, el sobrino. Muy Los bien. Sobrino. Perfect. Okay. Grandmother, Rosan. La abuela. Muy bien. And when it's plural, you will say it. Las abuelas. Perfect. Okay. El abuelo, los abuelos, el padre, los padres. We don't have the luxury of time you practice, but can we give it a quick round now? You do say it loud because until your oído will acostumbra, will, will be accustomed. Or else, or else, kung hindi kayo nagpa-practice, the English part, since some of you, I know, two years old, Englishero, Englishero na kayo, no? So it's difficult to unlearn because it will be English in our mind. Then we're not used, we don't say the father. We just say father, mother, hindi naman natin ina-emphasize talagang articulo. But in Spanish, for a practice, this is a second language for us. It's good until parang polish na rin na alam natin when we say abuela, la abuela. Okay, I'll start with Merly. From abuelo to hijo. Singular, plural, okay? Paano, ay, paano nga po? Parang you will say el abuelo, los abuelos, hanggang hijo. El abuelo, los abuelos. El padre, los padres. El hijo, los hijos. Muy bien. Karen, can you continue? El sobrino, los sobrinos. La abuela, las abuelas. La madre, las madres. Gracias. Rosan, you want to continue? Sorry, this is not grandfather. I made a mistake. This is daughter, okay? La hija, las hijas. Niece is la sobrino. Sobrina. La sobrina. Las sobrinas. Muy bien. Okay. La hija, las sobrinas. Until that time when you practice, you just realize, ay, ba't sinabi ko el abuela? No? Kasi yung oyito ninyo will already polish, will, will quickly remind you that you, you did not use the correct article. Okay. Patrick, for this <laughs> You can do it. Okay, brother, cousin, uncle. Patrick, go. Start. El hermano, los hermanos. El primo, los primos. El tío, los tíos. Perfect. Muy bien. Do as husband. Hasta until husband, Patrick. Ah, okay. El esposo, los esposos. Okay, perfect. You will notice your oído. Parang nagra-rhyme siya. Until you yourself, you feel, hey, but sinabi ko la hermano? The la, the, the, the L is really very parang natural to say. Why? Let's say you have been learning already Spanish on your own or we just do simple Google Translate. So pag click, lagyan natin sa English da, lalabas siya ang L. As, as da, lalabas ng L. So parang once it will be already fixated in the mind that L, so you always think English, then you try to say it in Spanish. Uh, not as always it will fit, because what if your, your, your noun is wife? So you will say el esposo, el esposa. Okay, so you need to practice and also a way to unlearn until you'll be comfortable. We do the same, el nieto, los nietos, la hermana, las hermanas, la prima, las primas. La tía, las tías, la esposa, las esposa, la nieta, las nieta. I will not say generally, but many of the non-native speaker, hindi ine-emphasize parang, and sinasaan, maintindihan naman tayo, parang kahit yung lalas, parang hindi na, parang for you feel it is just secondary. Yes and no, I will say yes and no. I will agree because... Especially when the, the class, the Spanish class is really for conversant, for co they, we call it conversational Spanish. They just give you the whole script and you just read a little analysis, translate, so that's it. But I will also say, kahit mag, uh, sobrang 
sobrang basic ang impression. Bakit ba naman la article? Parang very alpabeto pa. But this will, you have to see. Now, perhaps now, but I have seen, I am not selling my methodology, but I have seen how impressed I am when I can see the article is correct. Recently, not very recently, because I had been with e-language for more than a year now, when they will do the introduction, they just tell me, really, yes, at first it was really with a script, but I want also to tell for you to look forward. But later towards the end, like the last five sessions of the 30 sessions, we do have like simulation of, of job interview, feeling for, you're on the final interview of bilingual. Then I feel really nakaka-inspire when I see, oh, walang, kam walang mali sa artikulo. Because pinaghandaan yun. No? So it might sound very basic, but I tell you, this will also give you confidence and really impress because do not generally, karamihan sa mali sa atin as second speaker, second, we're not non-native speaker, ito yung mga nawawala. Parang hindi natin, kasi sa, ang isip natin is English, okay? So much for that. I just want really to to emphasize why we need to learn the articulo and say it correctly. The same, the same, when we go to grammar until verb, I always highlighted, wag mo nang mag ng English para hindi magkamali, Spanish talaga. Okay, we'll go to grammar, you practice, I really encourage you, we just don't have the luxury of time that you really practice, say it loud. I know it might not be young to everyone, that you really, some, they learn more by the silent reading, but others, they learn more interacting or speaking loud. Quick review of our sustantivo. We have a very good length of grammar last meeting. We were saying nouns can be determined its gender by some following criteria for us to see. So we emphasize yung mga ending ng word. If it ends in a, it's feminino. We use la. If it is, it if it ends in o, we use masculino o. But we were saying, not at all times. Because if you notice, dito sa baba may mga irregular word. Photo, mano, moto, radio. It ends in o, but it is feminino la. Dito na naman sa irregular ng ending o, like clima, dia. Idioma, poema, they end in A, but they are not feminine. So we say el clima, we say el dia, el idioma, el poema. We use el. These are just some of the irregular. But some also, those not ending in A or O, will help us determine the gender by looking at its ending. When we say it ends in sion, can you read the example here, Karen, for favor? La canción, la relación, la presión, la televisión. So when it ends in sion, it's la. Be it zeta or with S, it's la. It's feminino. You know, the canción is song, relation is relationship, presión is pressure, television. But when it ends with that or that, can you read me the example, Merli? La edad, la verdad, la, la amistad, la lealtad. Perfect. So all this, they don't end in O and A, but dad or tad, te ada, ABCD, te ade, or te ade, it should be feminino. So we use la edad, la verdad. When it ends with a, J, E, like means, can you read the example, por favor, Patrick? El mensaje, el paisaje. El garaje, el pasaje. So it ends in aje, aje. we use masculino el. Muy bien, gracias. So we know what is message, mensaje, paisaje is the scenery, pasaje is the same in Tagalog, pamasaje, garaje is garage. Now, when the words ends in or, or, we know it is masculino. So we use el. Read the example for Pabor, Roseanne. El amor, el dolor, el dolor, el error, el sabor, el temor. 
Okay, so we know amor is love, dolor is pain, error is the same error. Sabor is the taste, temor is fear. Okay, so we had been doing this, but this time let's do parts of the house. A very simple, but some, I give you a clue, some sound similar with Tagalog. Okay, umpisaan natin. But house is, any guess? La casa. La casa, muy bien. House is la casa. Not bed. Bedroom is? Tagalog. I heard, okay, el, el cuarto. I heard someone. But the spelling, take a look. Bathroom, very popular sa Laguna. Sige. Laguna, mga hot spring. Sige daw. Banyo. El banyo. Hindi ba popular? Kaya, now you will realize bakit Laguna became Los Banyos in Spain. Siguro noon. Oh, now you know. Los Banyos. Kasi, I think in Laguna, in all corner, may parang hindi swimming pool na lahat pwedeng parang... Hot spring. Ayun, ayun, hot spring. But it's banyo where they go. Paliguan din. El banyo, since marami los banyos. Very Spanish word. Living room is the same. So we use sala. Sa atin, we use sala, sometimes living room. In Spanish, it can be la sala or salon. Dining room. Parang familiar ata sa may parte ng Bicol, hindi ako sure. Kasi one of my students from Bicol, ginagamit daw. O baka biruan nila, baka talagang may dugo kayo ng Espanyo. Or asyenda-asyenda sa Bacolod. It's comedor. In Tagalog, we don't use comedor. Parang hindi masyado. Kapag kainan ba? Okay. Kitchen is kusina. The same, just the spelling. La kusina. Okay? Now, what I want you to do, pick up. That makes you, we all know, el cuarto, el baño, la sala, el comedor, la cocina. We can see now how it ends. That's the right article. But let's make it in a plural form. If I will say, start, I will say ca houses, like, okay, I will say, la casa, las casas. Volunteer, any, may lima dyan. So, muna kayo mag-volunteer, you have all your choices. Pag las kayo. Yung natira na lang. <laughs> any volunteer, pick any part of the house and say it first in singular and in plural. I think Patrick is ready. El cuarto, los cuartos. Muy bien. Gracias, Patrick. El cuarto, wala nang cuarto. And next, other, anyone who's ready? El comedor, los comedores. Okay, muy bien. Comedores, perfect. Los comedores. So we still have three on the row. And, El baño. Ah, sorry, Merli, yes. El baño. Los baños. Perfect. Okay. Rose and? La, la cocina. Las cocinas. Perfect. So we have las casas, los cuartos, los baños, las salas, los comedores, las cocinas. We don't have the luxury of time. Kait Gusto ko isa-isahin, but we'll do it some other parts dito sa, sa lesson na to. Practice, say it loud. No one will you say. Then you yourself, ma masanayan ninyo yung oído nyo na your, your hearing will even not accept. Ay, hindi naman. Bakit, bakit el cuartos? Mag-umpisa na magsabi, hindi tamang tunog. No? Ako ay really... Not, I think, makaiba tayo, but to me, it helps a lot when not in a formal class. I was telling you when I do volunteer work here, my, my companion for almost two years, she's from Barcelona, Spain. And I really say, you help me because I want to be really like that. We agreed because in Spanish, yung mga action, action, ganyan. <laughs> may, later, pa, I hope that will be part of it. May meaning tal sa kanya. Pag nagkakwento na ako, pag magaganyan siya sa tenga niya, she's sending a message to me that it's it's really, she's not, she will just say, ang sakit sa tenga. Sabi ko, ke, ke, ke pasa? What happened? Pero Emma, por favor, los artikulo. Sabi niya, yung artikulo mo, baliktad pa rin, hindi baliktad, mali, mali daw talaga. Okay, so I want you to practice, say it loud, so that your hearing also will adjust to it until you yourself will say, sarap talaga pakinggan. I tell you, native speakers, a lot they will say, 
when they hear, not Filipinos only, when they hear the Spanish is not uh, spoken ba, hindi siya ma, parang sumasakit din daw ang tinga. But they can understand. They will always say, oh, yes, yes, we understand you. Pero I think the same with us. Pag may magsalita ng English na talagang parang sabi natin, I do not know, in your time we still use before you were not born, we say, napakabarok naman ang English. Kasi parang broken to broken, broken talaga. Na, pero naintindihan pa rin natin. Kaya lang alam natin, hindi talaga maganda pakinggan. That's it. So, build your own confidence. Learn how to say it correctly. Correctly, not necessarily the tunog will be Mexican or what, but you express it correctly. Let's take some more parts of the house. Any guess? I'll start with the roof. Um, hindi pwede mag mahirap. Parang sabi ko, more on technicalities. Techo, ang spelling lang. Parang teko. But it's not teko. It's techo. A, B, C, C, L, techo. Eto, window. Familiar with Tagalog. Sige. La Ventana. La Ventana. Perfect. Pintuan. La Puerta. Ya, yeah, muy bien. La Puerta. Garden. Ginagamit din ata to sa Tagalog. Halamat ba? Garden. Hardin. Okay. Then we have kitchen. La ah, La Cocina. La Cocina. Because if you will say Cocina... Not a good, not a good word, ang kuchina, but la kuchina. We'll know that later. Okay. Living room, I was saying, you can say la sala, or it can also be, when you use the word salon, it should be the articulo el salon. Okay. Practice tayo this time. We'll say the word in singular, then say it loud also in plural. I'll start with techo. El techo, los techos. Volunteer, we still have five pictures here to choose. Okay. An, for ventana. La ventana, las ventanas. Muy bien, gracias. Next, puerta. La puerta, las puertas. Gracias, Patrick. Hardin. El jardín, los jardín. Jardines. Ar oh, perfect. Yeah, yun ang alam ko. Huwag muna yung mga hindi. Kasi now we can already see. When it ends in O or A, to make it plural at S. Diba? Okay, techos, ventanas. Per eh, paano yung hindi nag-e-end ng, ng O, A? Very good. Current, jardines. Okay? Jardines, los jardines. Merli? La, la cocina, cocina, las cocinas. Muy bien. Then the same. El salón. Now what's the plural of salón? It will be los... Salones. 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 Okay. So that will help you to change from singular to plural. Like salón, salones, jardín, jardines. Muy bien. Some more of the parts of the house. I will really have a long stretch of the parts of the house because not because of if you will have a... Uh, an account of, I will say, just for an account just for the, like, uh, anong tawag dyan, mga AT&T, Comcast, they are telemark, ano, nakalimutan ko, so, telecommunication, then you will use no. Some account like insurances, seguros, gamit din. Kasi, I do, for us even, di ba yung mga bahay natin ini-insure, hindi lang ang sasakyan, Sa, sa, I think in US they have to uh, all they have to be very specific what parts of the house, how many bedrooms. If you will have an account on Segurus that will be about property houses, specific talaga ang mga places, different parts of the house. Okay, la casa, las casas, el piso, los pisos, like piso, how many floors? Kung, Building ang in insure, you have to say how many? Is it 30 floors, 18 floors? I just realized this is very small. I apologize for that. La casa, el piso. When we say cuarto, that's the bedroom, there are other words. We can say la habitación or el dormitorio. I know it's not something different sa atin. Ang dormitory, yung buong building na, hindi ba? Lalo na mga estudyante. Magdo-dorm sila, dormitory. 
But in Spanish dormitory, it's just the room. Even in your house, the, some they use the dormitory. They say, no, can I get the, you can go and rest in the dormitory. That means in the house, in, in the part of the house, part of garage. I remember garage is really used sa mga car loans. Mga, car loans really parang part ng script na talaga sa PPO. Because when you insure your car, Part of the protection, na check talaga sa checklist, mayroong bang garahe that it will be protected, something like that. Okay, we have cocina, baño, los baños, or you can also, el cuarto de baño. The same familiar tayo sa terraza, balcon. We use that word, la terraza, el balcon. Uh, when you have like a study room, usually many now have a study room because you're doing work from home. You can say, Ten tenemos despacho en la casa. Like we have a small, not really a, a whole floor. Not whole, a whole, your room will be your, your working table, but we can also say despacho. Then we have here salon or la sala. Comedor that your familiar hardin. Take a look. Sorry, it's a small picture, but any guess on the picture? What is this? Sa English lang muna. <laughs> Malit. I will pool. say swimming pool. pool. Very swimming good. Pool. Swimming pool. Any guess what is in Spanish? Wala pa. Okay. I-highlight ko ito kasi experience din namin. Now it's, I think, just earlier this morning, one of my main group kami yung mga nag ano na, talagang pursigida na mag, mag BPO. Nag-discuss kami, sabi nila, in one, I think I said, na, hindi ako personally na-experience, but some of the the exam, when you apply, they will give you person. I think, hindi ba mag answer tayo? Pagkikinig, mag answer in English. Mayroon ding person in Spanish. Tapos sabi nila, isa sa mga ano doon, yung you have to listen a short story, es eto, yung pool. But it sounds like opisina. La piscina. Piscina. Kung mapakikinggan natin, baka kala natin opisina yun. So sabi ng mga, yung nagkwenta sa mga, akala ko talaga piscina yun. Pero parang hindi ko rin masyado naintindihan kasi bakit may mga bata, bakit sa, as the story goes down, naglalaro. Because piscina is not an office. Piscina is a pool. La piscina. I'll do again in plural. Just read the plural. I'll start with Karen. Can you they get to... Okay. We get two pictures each. Um, el garaje. Three. Okay. Three. okay. You start Los with garaje. casa. Oh, oh, sorry. La casa. Las casas. El piso, I'm sorry, el piso, los pisos. Um, uh, la habitación, el dormitorio, las habitaciones, los dormitorios. Habitaciones. 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 Oh, say, say it once more. Habitaciones. Las habitaciones. Perfect. Walang ha. Okay. We continue. Mm -hmm. Rosan, garaje, cocina, cuarto. El garaje, los garajes. La, la cocina, las cocinas. El cuatro de baño, los cua cuartos de baños. Muy bien, gracias. Ok, Merly. La Teresa, las Teresas. El balcón, los balcones. El despacho, los despachos. El salón, dos salones. Muy bien, gracias. Patrick, please do the last three pictures. El comedor, los comedores. El jardín, los jardines. La piscina, las piscinas. Perfect. Muy bien. Okay. I know these are, I have stretched so much parts of the house and not yet over. Quickly lang. Okay. But I also want to articulate, you try to be very articulate as the oído will improve. Some are familiar already. I just run down. When you see kitchen, la cocina, living room, salon or sala, the same. When you say bedroom, it is el cuarto or la habitación, el dormitorio. Garden, jardín, hallway is el pasillo. Dining room, el comedor. Attic is el atico. So the same, we put all in a plural form. 
I want to save some more parts. When we say the basement, it is el sótano. That's basement. When we say the bathroom, el baño. What about the floors? First floor, second floor, third floor. First floor will be planta baja in Spanish. Planta baja. Second floor, primer piso. So a bit confusing, but because when we say primer, primero, simula siya one. But when it talks about piso, pag sasabihin primer piso, yung second floor na po yun, second floor. So because the first floor is always na called planta baja. Primer piso, segundo piso. You know something? Don't see it as in the same in English, okay? Literally, it looks like the same, but it is different because second floor is primer piso. Segundo sounds very second, but that's the third floor. Okay. Can I do it in Spanish now? Can I hear? Okay. Start. Patrick El Sotano, the plural El Sotano. Los Sotanos. Karen El Baño. Los Baños. Merly La Planta Baja. Plantas Bajas. That's the first floor. Las, Las plantas. plantas Bajas. Okay. Because baja is already an adjective. Okay, the same primer piso, el, prim, el piso, los pisos. Segundo, el piso, segundo, los segundos, segundo pisos. Okay, let's do a reading comprehension now. It's a, remember, I told you at the start part of our, of our one hour, it's either we have a reading comprehension or listening comprehension. This is very short. It's called Compression Lectora. We read, Hoy vamos a ver la casa pequeña de la familia Morales. La casa tiene dos dormitorios, dos baños, una cocina y sala pequeña y un garaje para dos coches. I, we don't translate everything, but I know some words are very familiar to you already. More or less, maintindihan na niyo. Ano ba itong pinag-uusapan dito? Okay? But I want to hear from you. Read it. Slow down, you don't to rush. Just read it where what level you will feel comfortable. I start with Merlin. Hoy vamos a la ver casa pequeña de la familia Morales. La casa tiene dos dormitorios, dos baños, una cocina y sala pequeña y un garaje para dos coches. Muy bien, gracias Merly. Patrick. Hoy vamos a ver la casa pequeña de la familia Morales. La casa tiene dos dormitorios, dos baños, una cocina y sala pequeña y un garaje para dos coches. Muy bien, suena muy bien. Ako para nag-explain na ng ano, mga, mga benefits sa account si Patrick. Okay, no? Nag-explain sa, sa loan ng mga, I think there are lots nowadays, no? I do not know after pandemic before, mga mortgage, ganyan, lahat. You have to explain ilang dormitory. Okay, sorry for that. Karen, but Enhorabuena. Hoy vamos a ver la casa pequeña de la familia Morales. La casa tiene dos dormitorios, dos baños, una cocina y sala pequeña y un garaje para dos coches. Muy bien. Muy bien. Enhorabuena. Rosan. Hoy vamos a ver la casa pequeña de la familia Morales. La casa tiene los dormitorios, dos baños, una cocina y sala pequeña y un garaje para dos coches. Perfect. Yeah, if I will want to, to, to emphasize, ito talaga ang punto mas magaling para sa atin Filipino. Kasi hindi tayo mahirapan magbasa, tama? It's really as simple anong basa siya, ah, anong, how will I say it, Tagalog, anong basa siyang bigkat. Yun talaga is already an edge to us. That's why if I will sincerely, I'm comment, you sound really you're speaking Spanish. Kasi komportable na tayo magbasa. Sa Tagalog, ganito din ang pagbasa natin. But for the native speaker, Spanish will learn English. I can also sense ang hirap. Hindi ba? Because paano ba ito mag-propronounce? Like make, hindi naman nila pwede pasahin yung I make, I make make 
Eh, mali naman yun, di ba? Yung some words are really difficult in English. And that's how I see what I never teach Spanish speakers to English, but Portuguese, yes. When I was a volunteer in Timor, that's my responsibility. As a second, they have to learn the English and they are Portuguese speaking. Ang hirap. I can feel ang hirap kasi hindi di, anong basa siyang bikas. Okay? Keep that up. Ay ko sabihin as early this time mag-apply mag, 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 mag na kayo. Because like recently we were talking with a group who had, all, who had been studying since last year. They were saying no, during interview nila, ganyan. Hindi naman face-to-face. -face. I do not know for now. No, They say it was just over the phone. One of them really said when he, he was asked, he was already in a call center, but he was not an English. When he was asked to transfer, he was just asked to send, ano ba yung room? Like you record yourself, magre-recording ka, you tell something about yourself. Walang question and answer, yun lang pinasubmit. Tapos nag-email sa kanya, ah, sinabi daw, ah, the next final meeting, sinabi, I heard, I look at your voice reco recording, blah, blah, blah. And I am impressed how you speak Spanish. Oh, speak ba yun? Kasi sabi niya, binabasa ko yung teacher. <laughs> but because in the interview nowadays, I think they just want really, they don't expect you really to, but they just how, how you sound, how you pronounce, that's how they want to see you. Okay, muy bien. Enhorabuena. Let me take picture. Uh, let me just explain. And for the... For everyone, they know every class, I always take picture as my source of verification to submit to admin that I really conducted the class. Okay. Let's be, give our biggest. <laughs> na makikita ako, makikita ang logo at makikita kayo, hindi lang ako. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Thank you very much for this. That was a good day for us, but... You will, I will not give the details what will be our exam. Simple lang po. Vocabulary, a quick review of the vocabulary that we have already. Ang dami na, hindi ba? From the abecedario down to casa, parte, colores, shapes. Then we have also articulo and some nouns. Yun lang. That will be our exam tomorrow. But it will be, we will meet, we'll do the regular preliminaries, then the admin will download, will upload the exam through Google form. I want to end, I still have two minutes. I will choose what are the noun and what is the meaning. I will say casa is house. Anyone wants to continue in this very short story? It's telling, let us see the small house of Familia Morales. Pick one noun. Los baños. Baños Bathroom. is, okay. Bathroom. Bathroom, very good. Some more? Dormitorios. Los Back. dormitorios. Perfect. Next? Ano pang meron dito? Na, sigurado alam na ninyo. Ano to? Karen? Ro Rosan? Sorry. Ah, una kusina ah, isala. Ayan, ayan. Oh, kusina uh, isala. Yeah, kusina la uh, la kusina el uh, la sala, las salas, uh, las kusinas. Okay, um, skip, kitchen, and, kitchen and, uh, and living room. Living room. Kitchen, okay. And, uh, you still have your share, Karen. Ah, Karen. Thank you, Karen. Rosan. Un garaje, el garaje. Okay. The El Garaje is the garage. And how many cars in the garage? Dos. Dos. Okay. Because coches is cars. So we have Familia, Morales is a proper noun, dormitorios, baños, cocina, sala, garaje, coches. Perfect. And we have the articulo. We have una, un cocina. Next meeting, we'll go back to articulo. But it will be the indefinite article in English, a uh, and an. In Spanish, un, una, unos, unas. That will be our next lesson on the articulos, okay? So, definidos, we have el, los, la, las. Indefinidos, like the a and an in English, we have un, unos, 
una, unas. Aside from the test, we have this, and we start saying una ballena, un cangrejo, unas tortugas, unos peces. Okay, that will be, we have more like masculino globo, because balloon is globo, you say un globo. Pag maraming globos, what will you say? Globos, it will be unos globos. Una camiseta, femenino, one shirt. Pag maraming camisetas, what will be your article? Unas camisetas, okay. We'll call it a day. We'll still have more of this and part of our, our opening script practice. Our conversation will be this, but this time we use the articulo indefinido. More of that, if you will request for this presentation, I will also include all of this and we still have more, but this will be part of our, not of the exam, our review for the Articulo uno unas. Okay, but in the exam, let me see. There will be only definite articulo. Let's call it a day and we look forward. We will have exam in the proxima election. We will have a dialogue names and personal information. We have vocabulary about people in the community. Our grammar will be nouns and adjectives. We look forward with that. Let's call it a day. How do you want to end the day without saying adios? Just speak. You can say hasta luego, hasta mañana. Okay, I'll start with Merli. Hasta mañana. Muy bien, gracias. Karen. Hasta prox a la próxima. Okay, gracias. Okay, gracias. Rosan. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Patrick. Hasta pronto. Hasta pronto, muy bien. De nuevo, Patrick, Rosan, Karen, Merli, muchísimas gracias. Adiós. Hasta mañana, Hasta mañana. nos vemos. Cuídate, Hasta adiós. Mañana. Gracias, Cuídate. maestra. De Muchas nada. Gracias. Hasta mañana. Gracias, maestra. Gracias, Rosan, Karen, Patrick, Merli. Ah, Hasta gracias. mañana. Adiós.